What's up guys, DK here with Collector's Impact, and today is going to be a super random comic card opening video. I have here a box of Malibu Comics Skybox Master Series from 1994. <laughs> so Malibu Comics is definitely an obscure comic uh, brand. And you can see here that this box was actually, it, it's been like torn from the back. So I got this on a discount rack at a card shop, which is really nice. <laughs> so that is definitely one of the, the cool perks about this particular box. I was able to pick it up for a nice price. So here we go. We're going to check this out. A little bit of background on Malibu Comics as I tear into this. Uh, is So they were founded in 1986. Um and they kind of just published a bunch of random comic books, uh, lots of licensed stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of some examples off the top of my head. Things like, I think they did like a Mortal Kombat comic and random stuff like that. Um, but they also tried to do their own unique thing, which is this uh, Ultraverse. They made up their own characters and stuff to try to compete with like <laughs> Marvel and DC and... Obviously, that didn't go over too well, but uh, I'm actually only going to open half the box here, you guys, because there's actually a ton of packs. So doing that just allows me to get through these packs in a in a way that we can enjoy and really look at all the cards. And I'll definitely make a second video showing the other packs, but this will give us plenty to look at for today. Trust me there. <laughs> so check that out, you guys. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good old 36 pack box. And Wonder Woman is going to be here to give us some luck. Hopefully, we'll find something really cool in here. Yeah, but as I was mentioning here, they had made their own thing over here. This uh, Ultraverse is what they were trying to do. But guess what? In 1994, which is the same year that this was published, later on in that year, Malibu Comics was absorbed by Marvel Comics, <laughs> mostly for their art department. So I don't know if a lot, if any of their branded stuff had ever transferred over to Marvel, but definitely their art department did. So let's, whoa, okay. Uh, that is a kind of a spicy card, right? <laughs> I don't mind it, so hopefully you guys don't either. Uh, alternate, or alternate, uh, you know, wow. Uh, I wonder if PSA grades these cards. You know, they're closed down right now, obviously, but that is kind of a nice card potential for the future. And uh, happy to report these aren't too stuck together, at least not in this initial um, first box here. Mundi? Mundi? <laughs> Slayer? Uh, I kind of take that back. They are a little bit stuck together. Wow. <laughs> look, at that. look at that mask. It's like a Deadpool wannabe. All right, Nero, Neroni, Neroni, I don't know. I'm bad at reading some of these made-up superhero names, you guys. <laughs> uh, Blind Faith, okay, I like that. That's that's a cool one. Good old Blind Faith. Oh, that's nice. I, I love, 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 love these uh, Skybox Master Series. Electro Cute. <laughs> All right, guys, you got to admit, that's that's <laughs> that's freaking creative. <laughs> Electro cute. Okay, Malibu Comics, you got me there. That's too damn funny. <laughs> I guess that's my special card. I might have to start looking into some of these old Malibu Comics uh, stuff to see. If any of it's, you know, worth anything, if there's any notable characters from these series. This is, uh, wow. It's like Sir Lancelot over here. Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson is electric. All right. Yeah, they're, they're definitely stuck together. Classic Skybox. Um, Archmage. You got Archmage here. Oh, wow, look at that. Contrary. Yep, contrary to what you may think, that is a beautiful card. <laughs> wow. 
Very cool. All right, so I've got to say the artwork in here. This is top notch, you guys. This is top notch art. <laughs> Way to go, Malibu and Skybox for this product. This is definitely a, a hidden gem of artwork, at least. I don't, you know, sometimes you just got to stop and look at this. Like, what the hell is going on in this picture? He's got like spider claws coming out of his head. He's got the Terminator face situation going on. He's in the thinker pose. So he's a cyborg that's quite perplexed about his situation, as I am perplexed about his situation, too. And then we've got two upside-down ones. We've already seen these guys. Wow. See what I mean about the packs, you guys? This is, <laughs> this is so many packs. Oh, my God. Skybox does not make it easy for us. They really don't. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. You just got the Golden Gate Bridge. Amber's Destiny, apparently. Uh, all right. To me, it just looks like the Golden Gate Bridge with some crazy shit going on. Uh, the Entity. All right. Uh, I'm all about some entities, so why not? I j but I don't really see... You know, <laughs> it's a meteorite, but I guess it's a, you know, it's a alien spaceship meteor. Uh, Rhiannon, Rhiannon, okay, nice, very classy, oh, look at this, <laughs> if you guys have been watching me open these comic packs on the channel, I always pull, like, special flash cards, so now it's so fitting that, like, in an entirely different product, I get the prime flash, <laughs> what the hell? Skybox and their flashcards. Uh, Lady Killer, that is amazing. <laughs> wow. You guys, this artwork is crazy. This is some of the craziest freaking... If this doesn't scream like mid-90s, like mid-90s, no one gives an F kind of a thing, it's so awesome. Here we go with some more like Shredder style, like Mitsuruki meets Shredder in the arena. <laughs> Very interesting. Here she goes again. Now this pack, this pack is pretty stuck together, you guys. It's not cracking or anything, but it's very, very stuck together. Oof. Um, breakthrough. Backwards PP. Uh, I'm not sure if there's some symbolism there. Breakthrough 99. <laughs> breakthrough PP. I don't know. It's Twilight. Bell and Edward want their cut. That's just crazy. Look, even the the font and everything is so similar. Book. The dude's name is simply Book. Because he's carrying a book, you guys. <laughs> uh, firearm. Okay, these are very literal, like, superhero names. This <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. This is just too damn funny to me. Okay, he here's book. He's going to read you to death. And this guy is simply firearm. I mean, what? What? <laughs> Who do we have next? Knife? Come on. Let's see. Lost Angel. No, I was really hoping for knife or stapler or nail gun or <laughs> something. This is, <laughs> this is too good. Lost Angel. That's cool. Freaking book. <laughs> God damn it. I want to find more like that. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> Wizards of the Coast will be proud. Jump start. So there you go. <laughs> They're jump starting the trolley car in the photo. Oh, that's cool. What the hell? What is this? Ultra Force. So it's just all of them together. I guess. I mean, that's... Wow. I don't know. I like it. I dig it. That's a cool card. Prototype. Well, if he's the prototype, then where is the finished product? Because that's pretty intense too, right? Now, again, this is it just screams mid-1990s. And they love like that Deadpool style of mask on like mech bodies. Uh, fre Frex? Freex? <laughs> Freaks. <laughs> you got, I'm actually going to assume this one is Freaks. 
So, yeah, it's like, I guess that's the Fantastic Four's um, arrivals there, definitely. But instead of four, you have five. And this dude, he, he just like unhinges his jaw and eats people. This guy is like an adult version of Ness. This is a Black Widow wannabe. You know who that is. Freaking The Thing. But he's like, uh, you know, whatever. And then you've got like the exorcist puking person and shooting down at them. Okay. Uh, Mant- Mantra. Mantra. That is nice. That is really nice. And who is this Joker Arnold? Right? Bloodstorm. At least his name isn't Machine Gun. <laughs> that, that's definitely... I mean, look at the inspiration for these characters. That is 100% the Joker and Arnold. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm enjoying these. These are so freaking weird that <laughs> once you just kind of uh, get into the groove here, they're just... There's so much to appreciate. There's Bella and Edward again. Uh, Rune's Prophecy, and this one looks like a special card, but it, it, but at the same time, no, it's just number 84 in the set, Rune's Prophecy, it's really cool, a nice white background, beautiful hand-drawn image, and here's Notch, Notch is definitely an Aquaman knockoff if I've ever seen one, wow. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, Eon. Yep, stretching across time, you guys. <laughs> Come on, you have to appreciate these names. Adam Bob. Adam freaking Bob. <laughs> it's like, okay, they have the Adam and Black Adam. So they've just got straight up Adam Bob. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. I'm loving these so much, you guys. I might get another box of this just to keep it sealed. These are too much fun. Holy crap. I didn't expect these to be so good. I didn't look at any spoilers or anything. I was going into this blind, so I'm glad that I did. There's Prototype again. Uh, the Solution. So if they're the solution, where the hell's the problem? Because that is... Wow. Okay. That's really messed up. Uh, spectral. He's a spectral... He's he's the human torch. Let, let's be real. And what else we got here? Uh, General Raider again. Just look, look at how perplexed this guy is he's like why why am i here what am i doing (laughs) jesus um yeah and these two are always together that's something that i've noticed they're always together they must they must be a thing there's the solution again i really hope there's a card called the problem that would be too good look it's like a duplicate oh shadow mage okay um you know, the card was going <laughs> going good until you look right here. What the hell? What is going on? It's like the Hulk's head. The Hulk's neck on this lady. Uh, that is very disturbing in a lot of ways. I mean, the rest of the picture is great, except for that. <laughs> hey, it's the heater. There goes the heater. He's on the front cover of the box, so he must be the Superman of the series. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, that's kind of cool. Choice. Her name is simply Choice. I still love these names. But, man, that's like an 80s looking character or card, isn't it? Like that, that screams 1980s. And there's our uh, Notch Aquaman again. Okay, Zip Zap. Zip Zap with his like lightning bolts coming at him. He's the cool kid on the block. You can tell with his nice sneakers and his backwards hat and stuff. This is so 90s, God. Um, okay. Hugh Gun. 
He's like the juggernaut. He's like a samurai version of the juggernaut. What you mean? What the hell was their inspiration for this stuff? Here's Rip Fire. Uh, that one's pretty cool. I can't knock on Rip Fire too much. That's nice. And who's this? Hard. <laughs> what is with this? What? <laughs> See, I, I, I don't know anything about these characters, so somebody's going to have to tell me, why are there so many different flashes and all the good stuff that I pull is like the foil flashes? Hard case flash. Uh, <laughs> see if it gives us any indication on the back. Let's see. It's U4, hard case flash. Hard, ca hard cases girlfriend's choice. Oh, that's choice. Okay. Yeah, choice is featured on there. Choice was kidnapped by the mages of Zuria, okay, who need a hero. They promised to return her to Earth if she defeated the mysterious Z uh, Zorn. <laughs> Why can't they just make up good names? <laughs> she agreed, thinking it would be an easy enough task. But that was before she discovered what the Zorn was really about. Then she learned a new secret about herself that would have a major impact on her future. Now she may not be able to return to Earth, but Hard Case has sworn to find her. It still doesn't answer my question. Like, why is it Hard Case Flash? <laughs> Whatever. Um. <laughs> Lord Pumpkin! It's Jack the Pumpkin King! Um, I would not be surprised one bit if that was their inspiration for that. Skeleton Jack with his pumpkin head. Uh, did that come out in 1994 or 93 or something like that? Nightmare Before Christmas? Here's just straight up Gate. Here we go again with very literal names. Gate. Because he's making a, a portal gate. Still. it's That's cool. It's like a Martian Manhunter knockoff. Artwork's amazing. <laughs> There's our giant neck. Hulk neck. That's her name. Hulk neck. Oh god. Look at this. The Operator. Okay. All right. That's got flavor. That's got class. I like it. Wow. <laughs> uh, vestige. All right. That's also really cool. Oh, the stickiness is real, you guys. The, oh, there's Electrocute. That one, I think that's one of my favorite cards for sure. Just the little play on words there. The <laughs> I love it. Electrocute. Oh, followed by the Lady Killer. That's a lucky pack. And there's Samurai Shredder. Wonder Woman's face is fully, fully made an appearance. She's watching over us now, you guys. We're going to get the best stuff now. Uh, there's the operator again. Very, very classy. Oh, look, it's the same... Okay. Sweet face. <laughs> sweet face is here, you guys. Let's see if this face is sweet. Uh, you know, it's kind of subjective, I, I guess. Sure, I could see that. But we've seen some sweeter faces uh, in these cards so far. Uh, there's Eon again. He's stretching through time. What else do we got? Oh, God, I'm damaging the cards now. Oh, there's Adam Bob. <laughs> Freaking Adam Bob. God, I love that one. Lord Pumpkin. Hey, uh, let's look at this. Hang on real quick. Oh, no. It's just my bad memory. I thought that there was like an alternate art version where there was something like the sun and moon or something. But no, they're both moons. Okay. False alarm. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, War Strike. God, the 90s was all about big muscle men with big guns. I'm telling you, that was the decade of just machismo to the to the max, which I'm not complaining about. That shit was awesome. <laughs> you had Terminator and all that stuff. It was great. Um, Topaz. Okay, so I guess I finally confirmed this is a T and not a J. I was really on the fence with that font. That's very ambiguous, so... I'm going to go with, uh, that's a T, so Topaz. Uh, yeah, that's my birthstone, too. Not the citrine, but the Topaz. 
And there's Torso. Um, he's got like Cabal's thing on his head from Mortal Kombat. And Malibu made Mortal Kombat. So, hmm. <laughs> Mortal Kombat comics. So, hmm. There's Hellion. Just because these are so stuck together, he just popped right out. Hellion couldn't wait. He was from the back of the, the pack. Oh, Boneyard. Boneyard with a freaking Kano eye. There's a lot of uh, little Mortal Kombat things in here. I don't know if that's just coincidence or what, but that's pretty cool. And there's Hard Case. Okay, so here's Hard Case. And then the other one was the, the, the girl choice or whatever on the card Hard Case Flash. So I'm still not piecing it together, you guys. I'm just not good at this, but... <laughs> That's I'm noticing that at least there's hard case. Oh God! Just listen to the pack rip. Listen to this. You didn't know you were signing up for ASMR, did you? Uh, here we go. Sweet faces back. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, it's okay, but uh, sweet face is gonna have a sticky bottom. She's stuck big time. Uh, breakthrough. Breakthrough number one or number nine. I can't tell. You know, this is very ornate text. I really don't know if this is a nine or a one because it's it's like, you know, like that's that definitely looks like a J, but no, that's a T. So I'm I'm gonna go with uh, with one, but it's probably nine. Oh, look at this! <laughs> here we go, you guys. Back to the super literal names. Sludge, Sludge is here. There's no mistaking who that is. Sludge. Okay, what's this? Gaunt. He's gaunt. Ugh. It's really good artwork, though. As much as I'm cracking on this, the artwork is incredibly beautiful. The Master Series did not disappoint at all. God. Mosley. Mosley. He's like a, a cross between Moses and Mowgli <laughs> and, and Icarus. Uh, dropkick. Well, join the literal names. Dropkick. He's in there with firearm. All right. So we've got the breakthrough number one or nine or whatever that is again. Uh, sludge is back. Okay. There's some, some duplicates going on here again, you guys. <clears throat> Prime. He's primed for success. Look at that. He's, he's 100% Captain America knockoff if I've ever seen one. Wow. There's our Martian Manhunter gate again. And Boneyard again. Which, one thing that I notice about these kind of, um, <clears throat> like, opening half of a box of the Skybox cards, you do get some duplicates and whatnot in the one half, but when you go to the other half, if you just divide the box straight down the middle, you usually get some good variety in the next. So for the next, for the follow-up video... Hopefully there's going to be a lot of new stuff that we haven't seen in this particular video. So definitely um, stick around for that one. Uh, it'll probably be in, in a week or so that I uh, get around to opening that one. These, <laughs> these take some time, but <clears throat> yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see that one. Or just check back and it should be here in, in a nice timely manner. Uh, Alright, so Pressure. That's the first time we've seen her. And once again, I know that I've been saying it a lot, but man, this, it just so 90s. It's so, so 90s. Like, you don't have to, all that you have to do is just look at that and you know when it was made. Solitaire. Okay. That's cool. I love it. I love random, unique, you know, good old solitaire again. But of course, the dude has to just, you know, <laughs> have those Uzis or whatever. Uh, River men. <laughs> Freaking river men. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So instead of Aquaman, Aquaman, they're river men. Uh, Meat Hook. Okay. Meat Hook is nasty. Good God. Look, he's got like, I think that's a dude's like head in his hand. All you can see is his eye. That's like some Tales from the Crypt stuff right there. Ooh, Death Wish. Uh, that is kind of nightmare inducing, though it's also like some heavy metal, like that, that belongs on a heavy metal album cover for real. Good God. 
Uh, that's my favorite guy, Mr. Contemplation. All right, guys, we're down to two packs. Two packs to go. Let's see. Let's see if we can pull another cool variant card or something. I want to see something amazing. And I also want to be able to open it. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, look at this. This this pack is not it's not friendly like the others. Oh, here we go. Okay. Maybe that's a good sign. It's it's like extra sealed. Here we go again with the ASMR. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Prime Good old Captain America's back. The Strangers. So the Strangers, we had another one where they were all like standing in that um, Da Vinci style pose. And now we've got just their hands to the sky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ranger, if that's not an Iron Man knockoff, I don't know what is. Wow. Oh my God. They're not even trying to hide it. No wonder Marvel got them. Uh, plug. Um, I'll give them credit for that. That is really unique. I like that. God, that makes me think of, um, it's pretty obscure, but in the 90s there was this show called Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, on Nickelodeon back in the day. <laughs> and, uh, back when I was a kid and they had an episode where, like, a, a kid went into the computer, um, into a computer program and that's that's just what that reminds me of it's so it was definitely a topic on a lot of people's mind in the 90s and it kind of still is to this day um not naiad naid naiad i don't know but that's nice an aqua woman very nice art and outrage ah, freaking outraged all right guys last pack let's see can we do it? Can we get like the the one in thirty six pack card, which I don't even know what we're hunting for, but can we get it? Because <laughs> that would be nice. Oh God! All right. Oh nope. It's the strangers again. And Iron Man is back. Who else? Who else is back? Rubble. <laughs> of course, we had to get more literal ones. He's rubble. Uh, Hellion, yep, he's the one who snuck in the last time, just popped out at the end. Uh, he kind of, he's like a super muscular Dr. Robotnik because of the red outfit, but yeah, he didn't eat as many Twinkies as Robotnik. Uh, Meat Hook and Death Wish. Bum, bum, ba -da. Bow. No special card to end us, but... Definitely uh, come back soon as we have more packs to open. I just can't do it right now. This is tiring. <laughs> uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algos and all that. And of course, subscribe to The Collector's Impact for more random content like this in the future. As well as other discussions on collectibles, the market, magic cards, Pokemon, comics, you name it. Um, we've been diving into everything pretty recently, so... Um, thank you very much for coming by. I really appreciate it. Thank you for sticking it out and watching the whole video. And I hope to see you back next time. Take care.